Have you ever seen these locks at the top of your screen? What do they even mean? A gray lock means that your connection is secure and your information, such as passwords or credit card numbers, can't be stolen by hackers. Wait, how do they know it's secure? For that, we need cybersecurity and cryptography, the art and math of encrypting and decrypting code. Let's say you want to tell your friend a secret. If you're right next to them, you can just whisper it. But if you're on opposite sides of the world, that obviously won't work. You could mail it to them or use the phone, but both methods are insecure and anyone could intercept the message if they wanted. One solution to prevent eavesdropping is to encrypt or scramble the message with a method that only some people know. Having identical keys to encrypt and decrypt a message is called symmetric encryption. But what if you don't have a chance to share the code beforehand? Or what if you want to send a message to different friends? You would need a new code for each friend and would end up in a whole mess. To solve this, we use asymmetric encryption, where two parties, say Alice and Bob, don't need to share keys at all. Alice can buy a lock, keep the key, and send the open lock to Bob. Bob can then lock his message and send it back to Alice. To unlock it, Alice can just use her original key. This means that she could publish the lock and anyone in the world could use it. The open lock is called a public key. Like the name suggests, it is available to the public. The key itself is called a private key and is kept a secret. Think of public and private keys like your mailbox. Anyone can send you letters at your address, but they can't read the other letters in your inbox. Only you can open it with your key. Here, the opening is called the public key, which can only encrypt or lock it. And the key to open the mailbox is called the private key, which can only decrypt or unlock it. The trick to this method is that if you know my public key, you can't find my private key. But how? Introducing the one-way function, a process which is easy to do, but extremely difficult, if not impossible, to undo. I can mix two colors together and get a third color, which is a simple process. But if I show you this mixed color, can you find the original colors? Probably not. A really fascinating way to do this with numbers is by creating semi-primes. You might remember that prime numbers are numbers that cannot be divided evenly into any other number except for themselves and one. You can easily take the product of two prime numbers, which results in a semi-prime. But if I give you a number, can you tell me what two prime numbers are its factors? This is a little bit harder to do, but still possible if you run through all possible prime number factors, multiply them by each other, and check to see if you got the right number. This is a very long, tedious method that eventually works for small numbers, but with huge semi-primes, it could take thousands of years for even a supercomputer to find the factors. That's what makes it the perfect method to come up with your private and public key pair combinations. This really cool encryption algorithm that we just covered is called the RSA algorithm and is used almost everywhere to make sure that your online communications are secure.